core four summer 2009 for integration question and the first one's integration by parts so we have to decide what's going to be our u and what's going to be our dv dx i'm going to let u equal x because when i find du dx i'm going to get one dv dx is e to the minus x and whenever i integrate that i'm going to get minus e to the minus x so I'm now integrating from 0 to 2, x e to the minus x dx. Remember this form is in your formula booklet. So we have uv. So that is minus e to the minus x times x minus the integral. 0 to 2 of the du dx. So that's minus e to the minus x times 1 dx. Mustn't forget that because we have limits, we're going to put square brackets here and we're going to evaluate that integrand. So we have substitute in the 2. We have minus 2e to the minus 2. If we substitute in 0, it's going to disappear because I'm multiplying by 0. Plus the integral from 0 to 2 of e to the minus x dx. So that's minus 2 e to the minus 2 plus minus e to the minus x from 0 to 2. So that's minus 2 e to the minus 2 minus e to the minus 2. And then if we take away whenever we substitute in the 0, we're going to get e to the power 0, which is 1, so I have plus 1. So that's minus 3 e to the minus 2 plus 1. Integrating sine cubed x, I am going to rewrite this as sine x times sine squared x. And then I'm going to replace the sine squared x by 1 minus cos squared x. So I'm integrating sine x, which becomes minus cos x. And I'm integrating minus sine x cos squared x. Now what I notice here is minus sine is the differential of cos. So I have cos cubed x divided by 3 plus c. You can also do this second one here using the substitution. If you let u equal cos x and work through it using that method.